Hello guys, how are you doing today? This is the 26th episode of Python tutorial series, the else statement. With the else statement, we can run a block of code once when the condition no longer is true. Okay, print a message once the condition is false. I goes to one. Uh, that means this the else statement is associated with the while loop. That's what. Print a message once the condition is false. Okay, i equals to one. Okay, uh, while i is less than six, print of i i plus equals to one. That means first of all one will be printed out, then two. After this, three, four, five. Printed out. Okay, and when it will be i equals to six, uh, we will get out of the while loop, and then the block of code in the else statement it will be printed out like i is no longer less than six so one two three four five and i is no longer less than six this is gonna be the printout okay so test print one i as long as i is less than six this is very easy it will be while loop w in lowercase and uh, there gonna be a colon here so submit the answer correct and we go to the next chapter python for loops python for loops a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence that is either a list a tuple a dictionary a set or a string this is less like uh, the for keyword in other programming languages and works more like an iterator method as found in other object oriented programming languages okay with the for loop we can execute a set of statements once for each item in a list tuple set etc print each fruit in a fruit list fruits apple banana cherry for x in fruits print x so apple in one line then banana in another line and cherry in the third line the for loop does not require an indexing variable to set beforehand okay unlike other programming languages looping through a string even if strings are iterable objects they contain a sequence of characters that's why they are iterable okay loop through the letters in the word banana for x in banana colon print x so b in one line then in the next line a and then in the next line n a n a now the break statement and the continue statement they apply for for loops as well with the break statement we can stop the loop before it has looped through all the items okay exit the loop when x equal x is banana fruits apple banana cherry for x in fruits print x so first of all apple will be printed out since apple is not banana so it will not break and in the next iteration when it is banana banana will be printed out and since banana equals to banana so we will get out of the for loop and cherry will not be printed so we will have apple and banana in two different lines that's all example exit the loop when x is banana but this time the break comes before the print okay So for x in fruits, first of all, x is gonna be apple since a apple is not banana. So apple will be printed out, and then when x will be banana, since banana equals to banana, uh, we will break out of the for loop. So banana will not be printed out; only apple will be printed out. Okay, how much longer will it take to load? Oh my God! see it's only apple okay the continue statement while the continue with the continue statement we can stop the current iteration of the loop and continue with the rest, with the next okay do not print banana print apple print cherry if you want to but do not print banana banana that's when you need the continue statement so for x in fruits if x equals to banana then continue so apple will be printed out then but when it is banana it, it will not print and after the cherry will be printed out so apple and cherry in two different lines 
the range function to loop through a set of code a specified number of times we can use the range function the range function returns a sequence of numbers starting from 0 by default and increments by 1 by default and ends at a specified number okay using the range function for x in range of 6 that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 print x so 0 1 2 3 4 5 these six numbers will be printed in six different lines note that in the range 6 is not the values of 0 to 6 but the values of 0 to 5 the range function defaults to 0 as a starting value however it is possible to specify the starting value by adding a parameter like range 2 comma 6 means values from 2 to 6 but not including 6 so 2 3 4 5 these are the four numbers that are going to be printed okay the range function defaults to increment the sequence by one however it is possible to specify the increment value by adding a third parameter like range of 2 comma 30 comma 3 so for x in range of 2 comma 30 comma 3 print x so 2 will be printed then 5 and then 8 then 11 then 14 17 20 23 26 29 will be printed and the, here the step is 3 okay so first 2 and then last number is 29 with a gap of 3 between two consecutive numbers why is it taking oh it's 3g eh? see the starting number is uh, 2 and the last number is 29 just like i told you else in for loop the else keyword like the while loop in a for loop it specifies a block of code to be executed when the loop is finished so if the loop is successfully finished then the block of code under the else keyword will execute if the loop for some reason whether the loop is a for loop or a while loop if the loop is not successfully finished i mean does not come to the end then whatever statement or block of code is there in the else section that will not be executed print all numbers from 0 to 5 and print a message when the loop has ended the message is finally finished since we do not have any break statement or something like that that could possibly uh, interrupt this for loop so after printing 0 to 5 then we will have finally finished see okay note the else block will not be executed if the loop is stopped by a break statement break the loop when x is 3 and see what happens with the else block since this is gonna break again uh, first of all 0 then 1 and 2 will be printed out but 3 will not be printed out when x equals to 3 we will get rid of get out of the for loop so the finally finished the statement will not be print out printed out only 0 1 2 3 not 3 0 1 2 will be printed out now nested loops a nested loop is a loop inside another loop okay the inner loop will be executed one more one time for each iteration of the outer loop print each adjective for every fruit KDJ is a list, red, big, tasty, fruits is another list, apple, banana, cherry. For X in ADJ, that means an item from the ADJ list, the colon, indentation for Y in fruits, colon, print X, comma Y. So first of all, red apple, red space apple will be printed out in the next line, red banana, then red cherry. After that, big apple, big banana, big cherry. After that, tasty apple, tasty banana, and tasty cherry. This is going to be printed out. Okay. The pass statement. For loops cannot be empty, but if you, for some reason, have a for loop with no content, put in the pass statement to avoid getting an error. Okay. For x in, like this list, 0, 1, 2, cas. 
so let's try this what is the question look through the items in the fruits list fruits is apple banana cherry okay no problem we could you know use the for loop for and here we will be typing print here a colon and then we will be okay so that's it guys in the next video we'll be talking about python functions so this was probably the 26th episode of okay until the next time have a great day